Hello everyone. How you doing? I like this scarf. My daughter made it for me. Shinoa made uh, made a scarf for, I think for herself and then she decided she wanted to make another one for me. And uh, well, it's a uh, it's it's not very big <laughs> and it's kind of perpetually curled. I don't know how to uncurl it. So it very much was made by a 6-year-old, but uh, you know, she asked me what color do I want. I said red, and it's mostly red. It feels wonderful. It's very soft. And, you know, of course, I already have a scarf that I like a lot. You've probably seen me. I think I've worn it a couple of videos. It's, uh, it's actually an officially licensed Doctor Who scarf, but it's like, whatever. I just, I like the color, I like the length. And uh, when I went shopping for that scarf, I went looking on craft stores for people just who made long scarves because anyone can make a giant scarf literally but they were all they all giant catches to them like you had to wait a very very long time or there was some kind of outrageous shipping fee and eventually i just looked online i was like oh no there's just an official f scarf that someone could buy and my mom bought it for me as a gift so that's been my main scarf for geez at least at least four or five years now but this scarf is so cute i love it I don't know. I think I'm going to wear this a little more often because unlike my big long scarf, this one can fit easily inside my bag and maybe even a pocket if I fold it creatively. So yeah, I love this. I'm very happy about it. And I'm glad my daughter wanted to make me something. She's very sweet. Unfortunately, today has been kind of a tire, rough, not tired, a little tiring, but also a rough day. There was some bad news at work, and, uh, I don't know. I'm not in any sort of jeopardy. Like, I didn't make a big mistake or anything. No one's looking at me telling you you did a bad thing. But I'm starting to wonder what I can do. I mean, obviously, I've been asking myself, what can I do for at least six years you know, I've been living in Japan for a long time now and teaching for a long time and I've been trying to figure out what else I can do. Not that I'm sick of teaching, but because I'm good at it. That's a, that's a fact. That's a fact. I'm good at teaching kids. I'm good at it. I've learned a skill and I'm good at that skill. But sometimes I kind of wonder if there's something more I could do, something more fulfilling. You know, I mean... And this is the job I have right now. There's there's a lot of nice things about it. I work with a lot of really fun people. But I don't know. Am I am I settling again? You know, I, I when I got my job in the debt program, it had its ups and downs and I told myself, Oh, it's it's you know, there's some nice bits and the kids are fun and I like having time off. By which I mean the hours were not very long. <laughs> Not that I have time, I didn't have much vacation. But after a couple of years, honestly, I should have just left. You know, I should have said, oh, I'm done here. And instead I stuck around, I stuck around, I stuck around. I stuck around way too long and eventually I kind of had to quit out of anger. I was just too, it was angry. And my current job, you know, it has some stressful days. Tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be a busy day, I know it. But most days are fine. Most days are coming. I today was kind of a nice, I mean, aside from the, the sort of bummer news, it was a pretty good day at work, you know? I got a lot of stuff done. I accomplished things. I felt like I was, you know, part of a team. I like that feeling. But I'm starting to wonder if I need to be more aggressive in finding something else. But I, I, I honestly, at this point, I don't know what else I can do, you know? Living in Japan, I found very few people that will even entertain the idea of hiring me for a job, anything other than teaching English. And even then, when I was out of work in 2016, there were plenty of English teaching facilities who looked at me and said, eh, no, we're good. Even with all my experience. Maybe in part because of my experience. They figure I'm just some kind of burnout, but... I don't know. Uh, I'm really starting to wonder if this something more I can do, something else I can do. I mean, I, of course my writing, my writing hopes are always there, but I don't know how to make money as writing. I'd be honest. I've been, I've been a freelance writer now 
coming up on 10 years, I have no idea how to make money as a writer. None. I know how to make money as a teacher. I go to a school, I teach, I go home, they pay me. <sighs> Am I settling? Am I a coward? Can I afford to take another risk? I, I don't know if I can afford to take another risk. I, do, I certainly can't afford to leave a job without having a job. I can't do that again. That was, 2016 was, was, was too awful. <sighs> well, I'm worried. Not because I'm in danger, but just because I'm worried about the clock, you know? The big clock that's running. So that's where I'm at today. Kind of a little downer. But I'll go to work tomorrow, teach some kids. Hopefully they're good kids. Hopefully they have some fun. I'm going to try to have fun, you know? That's what I do when I go to work. I try to have fun with the kids. Thank you, cyclist. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go to bed now. Not in the scarf. But the scarf makes me feel good. Good night, everybody. I love you.